does it? My name's Trevor Kramer, sports editor of Jacaranda FM. Let's quickly check out what's coming your way in the sporting world this weekend. In Super Rugby, the Lions have got it all to do at Ellis Park this weekend when they host the Waratahs. Essentially, the Lions just need to keep on winning to remain in playoff contention and for a spot in that top six at the end of the season. The Waratahs will be a tough challenge, but the Lions also, on the other hand, have to rely on the fate of some other teams in the chasing pack to determine their future in the competition. The Stormers must really fancy their chances of retaining their grip on the South African Conference when they host the Cheetahs, and that's at Newlands this weekend. For the Cheetahs, it's an emotional match once again. It's Naka Drotsky's last game in charge of the franchise officially when they travel to Cape Town this weekend. And in a match of little consequence to the Super Rugby chase, the Sharks host the Rebels, and that's this evening in Durban. And an appetising little clash in New Zealand this weekend. The Highlanders host the Chiefs on Saturday morning, and that's happening in Dunedin. Both sides realistically in the chase for Super Rugby honours this season and for a place in that top six and the playoffs. So it's going to be war between those two tough New Zealand franchises tomorrow morning. The football seasons in Europe may have died down and run their course already, but there's still the matter of sorting out who's going to win that FA Cup in England this weekend. Wembley Stadium is where it's at, half past six on Saturday. If you're an Arsenal or an Aston Villa fan, you'll have particular interest in that one. That's at Wembley Stadium, the home of English football. The sook and hook, if I can call it that, and the razzmatazz of the Indian Premier League is now behind us. Instant cricket action, if you want to call it that. But for the purist, there's great test action this weekend. It's England up against New Zealand, and that's happening at Headingley. It's the second test between those two nations. And let's hope they can deliver another spectacle like they did in the first test last week at Lords. A really good advert for test cricket. And we're heading into week two of the French Open Tennis Championship on the red clay courts of Orlan Garros. Heading into week two, the usual suspects still in contention. No major upsets there. You've got Djokovic, Murray, Nadal and Federer in the men's draw. And of course then, the contest between Serena and Maria Sharapova for honours in the women's draw. But a couple of floaters too in the women's draw. We'll see what happens in week two. And months of gruelling training and slogging on the road will come to a head early on Sunday morning. It's the running of the Comrades Marathon. This year is an uprun between Durban and Peter Maritzburg, but it's also an anniversary edition of the Comrades Marathon. It's the 90th edition. I'm Trevor Cromer, and here's wishing you a great sporting weekend in the company of Jacaranda FM. And don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter. Go to at Jack of Sport for the very latest in sports news, views and information.